Hi guys, and it's Wednesday related video time, and well, there hasn't actually been any. It's been quite quiet. Um, Chris O'Grady possibly maybe going back to Barnsley. I am sick of talking about this. I hope this gets ended soon in one way or another. I'd love him today, but also if he goes, fees of our wave bill, then again, I would love to know what he's on because he's got to be on a high amount. Anyway, um, the big Wednesday news this week has been mainly us, as in the team and the club, getting taken over again. And if this is the case, brilliant. Um, apparently it's some sort of Chinese, American Chinese consortium. Uh, it'll be nice if it happened, but as a lot of Wednesday fans know, we believe it when we see it because we got promised so many times before, hey, you're going to get taken over, you're going to get taken over bollocks never happens so yeah so I thought on this video because there isn't much going on because we're linked with a lot of people but I don't see us I don't see us sign anyone until probably Friday or more than likely the week I get married or the weekend I get married so I won't be able to get a video up until afterwards so it'll be so fucking long I'll be at the Sodding Club as well. Yeah, I might take camera away. See. Anyway, I thought if we could talk about when one of the games I went to, and I remember it quite viv vividly, and it was an away game. It was Wednesday versus Doncaster, and we. I think it when it was Donny when Donny were playing at Bellevue, and when we had Kenwin Jones on loan, and he scored those goals, and. I remember it quite vividly because I was in the away end with a lot of Wednesday fans and I'm originally from Doncaster and all my friends, we all talked about it during during the week, talk about going and stuff and when it came to it, my friends were like, oh, so you're going to be in the Donny end, aren't you? No, not a Doncaster Rover fan. I always look out for their club because they're my home team, but I'm not a Doncaster Rover fan, I'm a Wednesday fan. And so I went into the away end, we beat them, and what I remember vividly was a lot of my mates being really, really cheesed off that uh, they lost. Not that I went and it was the away fans, they couldn't give two shits about that, but that they lost. And I remember having to get out of Bellevue and pretty much run to go get a bus or it was to go get a bus in I think it was to go get a bus or I was going to run home because I knew for a fact as soon as my mate got up to me uh, and got to me I would get re I would I would be able to give a lot of banter to them but they could never take it and one of my mates uh, if it got too much for him used to get quite violent he used to smack you quite hard. So I used to be like, right, okay, I'm not having any of that shit. And I remember getting home thinking, oh, brilliant. Got to school on the Monday, sat down, fine, fine. Everyone comes in and goes, you utter prick. <laughs> like, what? Don't remember anything happening at the weekend. Oh, you mean that goal line? Yeah, you play shit. <laughs> and I remember it quite vividly. And it was one of those experiences that I loved, but I also had the kind of thing was... I felt, it felt weird being a Wednesday fan at my school because a lot of them were Donny fans or Manchester United fans, there weren't many Wednesday fans in the school and when you mentioned Wednesday you used to get the pit look out, you're like oh you support Wednesday and stuff and one of the times when, when Leeds United got relegated from the Premiership I remember this Leeds fan used to be always chip 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 chippy and it used to really pick me off. And when he got relegated, the turn I said, "You'll struggle now. You'll struggle for a good couple of years before you get back." And funny enough, <laughs> they're still not back there. Never we. So I can't say anything. But yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, we've had some, like I said, we've been linked with a lot of people. We've been linked with a League Two player. Uh, the latest one to recently, I think, with Gary Dicker. We've been linked with we've been linked with a lot of creative midfielders. So far, no strikers, which is annoying. I think we've been linked with some I no, not Icelandic. I can't remember what nationality it is, but we've been linked with someone else who's a striker. But I think we're waiting to see who signs their contracts. Hopefully, that'll be 
next week when they're all back up Holly. Uh, like I said, Bolton side, brilliant news. Uh, Hampshire back, he's in a coaching role for the Wednesday team, which is good. And it'll be interesting to see what happens next. Um, like I said, it'll be self law that I'll be all on the week of my wedding or the weekend of my wedding, so I won't be able to crack on and get a video on. But hopefully I'll be able to do one the following week because I'll have a chance. And we're not really doing a honeymoon until later in the year, so yeah. So, I hope you're well and enjoy the video. Bye.